Dear Heavenly Father, wow, we thank you today for waking us up this morning, bringing us to class, yes. bringing us together as one, yes. for helping us make it through the weekend safely. Father, we thank you for Miss April. We thank you for everybody that's here amongst us today. We ask you to guide us throughout our day, Lord. Help us make it through the day. Keep us away from harm, bad people, and negative vibes. We ask that the, the shop mom, we appreciate you and your presence and your guidance and your leadership and your understanding and your motherly vibes. We don't know yes. what we would do without you. Okay. Brother Sam. Okay. Yes. We appreciate your community. Yes. Your laughter and your pretty smile. <laughs> we ask that you do the right thing, the godly thing. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, my brother. <laughs> yes. Miss April. You want me to let it go now or you want me to wait? Oh, we, we still going. Miss April. <laughs> and we appreciate you for allowing us to be here with you and just to. Your motherly love, thank you. your wonderful shot. Thank you. We love you Aww. and we thank you. And we ask that God continue to bless you, you. and your foundation. You. And these blessings and prayers that we ask. Amen. 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 Hi, welcome to April's Game. I'm April Tucker, the CEO of April's Main Academy. Hello, hello, hello. I am so grateful to be here. Today is a Monday, one of those Mondays that is a grateful Monday. Thank you. I'm so glad to be alive. I'm so glad to be here. Hey, we got great feedback on last week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And this week we have some more excitement um let's talk about this weekend this weekend was pretty nice um we had like a little iron bowl party here. it's mari um sorry look i literally just got off work um but um, I just want to come talk to y'all about this past Saturday. So this past Saturday, um, as everybody know, if you're from the state of Alabama, was the Iron Bowl game. And the Iron Bowl game is when the University of Alabama plays the University of Auburn. Now me, I am a Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm rolling with the Tide. I'm rolling with the winning team. I'm rolling with the money. Um that's my team i'm from tuck schools i'm gonna rep crimson tide till i pass away that is that is what it is all right but um this past saturday <laughs> at school we decided to have a game day party because if you're from the state of if you're from the state of alabama then you know like how serious this game is like me personally i don't care who i don't care how alabama play the whole season Okay, and that's not saying that I'm not a real fan, but I'm just letting y'all know. But it's it's probably two games that I don't I don't play about. And that's when Alabama plays LSU. And when Alabama plays Auburn. And the reason why is because I have family that will blow your house down trying to support both of those teams. And but out of both of those teams, when Alabama plays, Auburn is when it gets hectic. That's when the smack talk starts. That's when it gets nasty. It gets nitty gritty. People don't. People they ended up shot behind this game. Okay, that's how serious it gets, y'all. That is really how serious it gets. Okay, so on Saturday, <clears throat> you know, at school, we decided to have the you know game day party. We had like a little. You know, like seafood bowl and, you know, we cooked out and, you know, we just try to have fun. But 
me personally, I just can't be around Auburn fans when Alabama's playing Auburn, unless they're family. Like, I just can't because, like, I'm a, I'm a quiet watcher. I like to, you know, just watch. And I be, you know, but when my team's so, you know, I'm going to do my little. And then I'm going to sit back down. And people love to say Alabama fans do the most. But this past weekend, y'all, these Auburn fans will have me like, okay. All right, now, child. You can sit down, child. You can sit it on down, y'all. Okay, I see y'all. You know, they had me like, okay, I can tell Auburn really ain't used to winning nothing. Even though they didn't win the game, because I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna cap. At first, I was a little nervous. Then I was like, okay, okay, Alabama coming back. Okay, Alabama. Okay, y'all got this. And then, you know, I was telling myself, by halftime, so you know what, it's good. Fourth quarter, fourth quarter's ours. Everybody know that Alabama gonna come through. Then the fourth quarter came. And child, I had to sit down. I had to lay back in my institution chair. Cause I was like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But I was like, I was like, you know what? The game's too close. We might go into overtime. And guess what happened? We went into overtime. Them Auburn fans were sick. Sick. Especially Mr. Because first of all, with Aubrey scored, this man jumping up and down, being out loud, dramatic with the theatrics, and I'm just like, sir, it's only like the first quarter. You can calm that down, sir. Like you can tell you're not used to this. You know, oh, okay, it's not that. You know, it's not that serious. And low key, I was like, okay, you're not Alabama. What the fuck you got that? Yeah, what you say? Tell that shit you said, down, nah, yeah. You got this man jumping up and down. You got all these Auburn fans running around in circles, jumping up and down, screaming, y'all got to come through. Y'all got to get it. Okay. But then when I was like, when I seen us going to overtime, I said, oh, I'm going to win this. I never lost faith. That's my team. And what happened? All you Auburn fans, what happened? What happened? Okay. Alabama won. Y'all seen it. I ain't even. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. And I don't care how how close the game was. I don't care about the scope. It's about who won. But them them all fans really had ran my pressure up for real. Cause I was like, y'all is doing. Them. I was like, can y'all calm down? It's not even. It's like it's not even that serious. But I didn't go count when I was school. I did, you know, do a little okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was when at one point, like Mister just got so excited, he was chipping in everybody's face. I'm like, sir. Six feet. Back it on up. Like, it's, 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 yeah. I think it'll be like my first and last time doing like a game day party. With Aub you just can't do nothing with Auburn fans. Like, they just, they always love to complain about Alabama fans. But you really can't do nothing with Auburn fans. Like, they just so unruly. Like. Fuck Alabama. Fuck Alabama. Fuck Alabama. Everybody who went with them. Fuck Alabama. No, no. For real. You know, Alabama fans, you know us. We got, we got class. We, we, we got that southern Southern etiquette, that Southern uh, our fans, they wrecked. And Mr. Nim, Mr. and the rest of them, our fans proved, proved it. They wrecked you. They, they was, they, it was a mess. And then, yeah. But you know, I, I enjoyed myself. I know everybody that, that was there, they enjoyed themselves. It was nice. It was fun. Hey, All up in your grill. What's your name, Sam? What's your name, Sam? And you like the step on folks? Ain't that what you said? Booty tooty. Y'all mad. Booty tooty. Y'all mad. You know, I'm glad, you know, everybody was, you know, everybody come together. Because like I said, this game is so serious to the state of Alabama. It's so serious to the point that Auburn fans still be talking about that time that they won. And I, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You know, yeah, y'all won that time, but how many other times Alabama won? How many times y'all lost? What's y'all season looking like? Okay. 
But that's enough for that. Get that old right there. Oh, Get that right there. <laughs> <laughs> fair to go to with my friend girls i had church service i had to sing both services the Pranos, thank you jesus it is the in the house come on class reunion brunch class of 1988 Viger high school woo, 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 woo. so with all that being said fast forward 100 hours i really enjoyed this weekend i am just so grateful to god he gave me a wonderful weekend now this week well when i came in today i had a couple of students that they love the show everybody enjoyed the show all the students but it was just a little bittersweet feedback of what was said. So we talk about it. Do it in 4K? The the video. It's up, Michelle. Where's Michelle? Uh, it worked. Okay. You can put it on the phone. Okay. She got to do it. Okay. Uh, what's that, Mom? All right. You on the phone? All right. All right. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. This show. Let's go back. We've got everybody in the room. We did not know what was going to be on the show, did we? We didn't even see our introduction, right? I'm talking about me. We didn't see our introduction. So, with that being said, I asked to see the show before it was done. I did the lady. The show was, y'all know that. Y'all saw the text. So, we got a surprise. I promise you, Thanksgiving Day, I asked her to please answer the phone. She told me, Miss April, I'm going to talk to you with my family. <laughs> I said, please let us see the show. Let us see what's going on. Can we get something? Because we don't know what you got, what kind of footage you got. She said, hey, it's going to be okay. And I just put on there all for you. She said, why are you nervous? I said, because I'm nervous. I don't know what you're going to put on there. We don't know what we're going to do. Now, this show is fun. I think everybody like I got so many good comments. Nobody did a calm down, did they? Nobody. Is that good? Yeah. That's good. Everybody be a calm on the show. I'm so glad of it. I'm not one I'm not one Alright, but before I alright, let's back to our meeting. Now, I know everybody got something to say, but I'm gonna talk first. This is fun once again, but the problem we're having, and I say we're having, but we ain't having no problem. The issue that's coming up is, I think some of us are feeling some kind of way about comments that was made on the show. I mean, I don't know where anybody got anything, comments. 
Stupid nigga. You know what's going on, nigga. Right? And we don't shoot squirrels around here, playboy. And that's official. <laughs> when I was young, I used to shoot squirrels right out of the tree. You know, like him, nigga, all <laughs> there, don't you? Huh? You play, you like stupid ass, nigga. <laughs> Four on two, boy. Oh, what? This is what happened to niggas who be talking shit. What's up, man? Uh, uh, uh. My name is. in the build and this is one of my ops he fucked up got to see it happen to him you know what I'm saying he can't even stand up no more I know a lot of people in tune with the with the show BML Lamar is my cousin and he can't stay in the run. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens to motherfuckers. You, you fuck with me. can't stay the rain. But, you know, when you get beside yourself, see happen to you. I'm sorry for you, peanut. But, when you run your mouth too much, it's hot. This is what happened to you, you end up ass that. But, you know, on to the next story. It's a new month, end of the year. I love my fellow classmates, some of them, for the most part. I don't fuck with Peanut, as you can see. He's a dead man. But, to the barber guy, we here, baby. You know what I'm saying? New things is on the way for us. I want y'all to stay in tune. And for my ladies out there, I am single. I don't have no kids. I'm looking for a hairstylist, you know, to keep me in tune with my good looking side. So, if you follow me on social media, get at me. It ain't finna be no knuckling, none of that. We gon' oh, talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about you. We're gonna talk about you. Right them on. Anybody got a problem? We're gonna talk about you. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna do this though. If I gotta cut you out, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, what's up with your partner? Oh. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, what's up with your partner? Like, you know, I got some up in here. No, we ain't. All right. I don't now, do I wanna hear, I wanna hear from everybody. I wanna hear, okay, you just said y'all can talk. I wanna hear from everybody. Look, I ain't got nothing. Uh, I ain't got nothing. I got something. She almost said it. I'm good. I ain't. I don't feel no type of way. Listen, I do. I already. I already. Oh, my piece. I don't feel no type of way. I ain't never feel no type of way. Y'all brothers, man. Eat them with last. Now, this is a reality show, y'all. But we ain't going to get bent out of shape, okay? You understand that? 
Y'all ain't even supposed to be in the house. Oh, hold on, hold on. We do got smoke with peanut head, though. Little Bloodwood has smoke. Peanut? But yeah, we got peanut. Peanut head, he got peanut head. Peanut head, he got peanut head. We gonna tell about head who he is. Yeah. Who he is. Hey, Bobby, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Peanut is walking out of here looking at everybody crazy. I heard Bob that somebody gag. said we were disrespectful for the way that we talked about peanut the other day. No, yeah. But one thing about it and two things for sure, the way I was raised, when you walk into a room, you speak, it's you very speak, disrespectful man. to walk into a room and mug somebody and not speak. You don't even know us. So to you that got something to say, hey. We be want to smoke. Oh, man, hey. Ball game, man. You know what it is. Real, cause who won't smoke with us? Don't play with us. Who won't smoke with us? Oh yeah, don't. Hey man, y'all yeah, pull up, come get y'all the free fade. Yeah. Hell yeah, good time. That this is who peanut is. The ball guy. Hmm. Uh, for, for the one that love us, we love oh, you too. You know what I'm saying? We love who love us. We, we got, support who support us. We got hairstylers in the building, barbers, nail techs. I'll right, come shop, man. Have a good hey, time. And if you looking for some cakes or anything for the holiday season and you in the Mobile, Alabama area, holla at my girl, Quenisha. Hey, sweet trees by Quinn. You would not be disappointed. I am addicted. Get out of. Bing bong. <laughs>
Little dream, bitch. Little dream. Rich dream, bitch. You see it, all these stories. Y'all, let's get it. Support the brand, baby. Yeah. Support the brand. You know how Support good that is, nigga. <laughs> yeah. If you talk oh, shit, we gonna plug is. your shit. Yeah. Uh, hey, I heard a motherfucker say Barbara Gang say? be uh, what she say? We we be getting on her nerves. Um. I get along with pretty much everybody at the school. I mean, Barber Gang kind of gets on my nerves just a little bit because they always try to exclude me when I'm the honorary member of Barber Gang. But we'll we'll talk about that later. Uh, like she don't get on my motherfucking nerves. I always camera and everything. What you say? I swear. Come on, all this little put put ass shit. What you say? Yeah. Roll hand like Birdman. You got, a, you got a whole lot of mouth. <laughs> you. Yeah. No, what's going on? Miss <laughs> April, Miss April. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we finna get on that peanut, motherfucker. Oh, oh yeah. That peanut. Yeah. Peanut, peanut <laughs> ass. Hey, we on your head. Mr. Clean. We're going to let Mr. Step on shit. Get on your ass yeah, now, so peanut. I step on shit. We get tired of you coming up in here looking that folk crazy. Uh -huh, Don't too. speak. Then your mama teach you better than that, peanut. With them that starch down there, that pants on you, nigga. All that got that oh, blister on your head, man. Chain. All the head. Egghead ass. Make a nigga want to slap his head. Mr. Clean. Nah, Mr. Speak. 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 Single, no more marriage is over. Yes, is it a black and white baby? Hello, I'm on the way. You so say you like booze too. Oh God, that bunny shit yeah, played out. Can you? I don't yeah, play that shit. I don't play that shit. Ain't no motherfucking bunny out. Hey, well, take, well, take that hoe out then. Yeah, Fuck that. Them hoes ain't bougie with no bunny on. Cause. Bitch, you what you? How you feel about that shit, Rick? Right? Yeah, they they have have they they in public, to the doctor's appointment. Never. You a representation of me when you go out in public. You cannot wear that bunny eye. A bunny is meant for home. A real bougie, a real bougie, not a fake bougie. I know real bougie bitch. The bunny is meant for at home when you going to sleep. Or when you trying not to sweat on tracks loose. The cold soda in the the. Just in public, period. I ain't no real bougie bitch. You'll never, bitch. I'm from the hood, and I don't wear fucking shit like that. It's good. Hell, come on, some. If it's any other girl, it's okay. But if you see girl, no. Right. Don't put that camera on me. I'm just saying. But this, this is the thing, though. I feel like this. If you just run up the street to the gas station somewhere right quick, that's fine. But going in the grocery store. Going to the doctor, uh, going, you know what I'm saying? All them different places like that, all in the mall with it. That bunny oh, shit, mm -mm. look but, at this. But look. look at that bunny shit right there. Prime example, that bunny shit. Oh, ain't nobody gonna fuck me in that bunny. I'm cute, bitch, y'all. Tell Brittany, do my house. It has to go. They said yeah. they won't wear. Yeah, I just took my hat out last night. They said they won't wear. They said they won't wear to the mall, but they'll wear it to the. If you wear to the doctor, you might as well wear it to the mall. And they're gonna be dirty. I ain't dirty. Y'all trying to have you little boy gay out here. Hey, how y'all how y'all feel about that little kitchen set shit on Facebook, man? I'm not they tell my the little boy can't play with kids that they make them gay. Come on, man. <laughs> it's your girl AC. Hey, look at it. It's a whole lot of talk on social media about the little boys having kitchen sets growing up, talking about that make them gay. <laughs> 
Hey, so I guess if your little girl play with her little brother tools, she gonna be gay. <laughs> Hey, tell you like, y'all just keep not buying y'all little boy kitchen sets to play with, you feel me? And I'ma just keep cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner for your girlfriend, your baby mama, your old lady. I don't care. Hey, I love it here. They, they love it here. <laughs> right, I seen that shit too. How you feel about that shit? Would you buy your little boy a kitchen set? I did last year. Alright then. He wanted it though then. I ain't that's but I'm just saying though, like a child, like boys look up to their daddy. All right, a daddy, you might be watching your daddy cook in the kitchen, and you might want to do that shit just to play along, like you doing it. You feel me? Like that's y'all better start letting these children be children, man. That what wrong with these children? Nah, y'all let them grow up too fast. Everybody, let children be children. I mean, what's the kitchen thing I do with? Men cook, women cook. Exactly. Man. What's the difference? A kitchen exactly. That's why these boys don't know how to cook, nah. Exactly. That's the only time I get it. That's that's why I'm out here. Hey. Say, it's a kitchen set. What? Get what though? Why don't you buy his ass a doghouse? Get what though? Get what though? Get what though? Like you buy him a tea set. Get what though? A tea pot set. Get what though? That's why I'm out here making y'all baby mamas and y'all wine breakfast, lunch, and dinner because y'all niggas didn't want no kitchen set growing up. Period. <laughs> 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 See, for real. And then, if you look I at cook breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> they got the little grill set and all that shit, man. They have bar kitchen. Boy, that why, that's why a lot of these moms don't know how to survive. And they out here living from this girl apartment to that girl apartment. Because they don't know how to survive. They can't cook. Don't know how to do nothing. Can't fix none. Uh -huh. None of that. Not only that, they gonna go out the kitchen and say, "What's you this? see?" Yeah. Oh, no, this a spider in the car. Oh, tell him, man. Y'all better let each other be true. Um, I pray that we've gotten that together and we've ironed it out. So, with that being said, I'm still super excited. I am. So I hope you keep watching the positive message that I have today. Positive, positive message I have today is always keep God first. Always live your dream. But in living your dream, his word says that he gives you the knowledge and the wisdom to gain success or the power of your success lies in the power of God's hand, whichever way you want to put it. So I said all that to say this. If you would write down your goals, I teach my students about it. Short-term goals or long-term goals. Short-term goals are like six months goals, three to six month goals, but long terms or a year or more, it's a long-term goal. So with that being said, write down the vision, Rebecca two and two, Write down the vision, make it plain, and I ask my kids to fold it up and put it in your Bible, in that chapter, in that passage. And I promise you, you can go back and check it off, and, and God will grant you those things. If you line up with him and his words, and ask him to forgive you, repent daily. I'm not here to give y'all a Bible class. I don't know, I know, I know. It's just I get so excited when I talk about God's words. My students let me use their phone. They have iPhones and I have an Android, but I like my Android. So anyway, the picture is not as clear. I don't look as cute on their phone as I do on my phone. So I told them to give me $10 a piece and I can buy me a iPhone. But anyway, I am ready today. I try to always be ready. This ponytail makes me look like I'm about 12, but it's okay. I like it. It's easy. It was convenient for the weekend. But anyway, make a long story short, I love y'all. Keep loving each other. Keep grinding. Hey, reach for the stars.